Hey, Percy. Why won't the camera focus? Hey, Percy. Today's the big day. Look at him, so blissfully unaware of what's to come today. Camera focus. There we go. So excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. Unfortunately, there's not going to be much of Percy in this video because I don't want to take him with me to stress out the new pupper that we're about to get. Um, but yeah, I think we're about to head out right now. I'll be back, buddy. I'll be back with a little friend. See you soon, bud. Oh, and real quick, here is the cage that we have set up. This is Percy's old cage. I got a little mat at Petco for him to lay on that is probably not going to last long if I know anything about puppies. And I have this little teether toy and this little ball right here that he should be able to wrap his mouth around. That's our setup for right now. And Percy really wants that teething toy. I really hope this is focusing. I'm also in the car, so this is like... Uh. We're on our way to go get our puppy. We're gonna meet the breeder at um, PetSmart, which by the way, unless you've gone to the breeder's house, I strongly encourage you not to meet your breeder somewhere else. I'm only doing this because I have been to this breeder. This is the same person that has bred Percy. I know her really well. We stay in contact a lot. Um, but yeah, I never will recommend that you go meet someone other than their house go pick up your puppy. The reason behind that is usually scammers will feel, scammers or puppy mills will feel very uncomfortable with you coming to their house. So a good way to make sure that the puppy you're getting is a purebred, especially if it's a papillon, is to go to the breeder's house, get to know the breeder, talk to the breeder, see the parents, and play with the puppies that they might have there. So I always recommend that you go to the breeder's house, and if they're not comfortable with that, I would be suspicious of them. Come on! I don't know if you want to be on YouTube or not. Do you care? Nah, I don't care. Oh, oh, he's got his brother in there. Yeah. First brother to meet me. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, so you, oh my goodness, look at him. Here I am, Katrin. <laughs> Hey, I'm scared to death. I don't know where I'm at. Oh my goodness. He's so tiny. Don't you? Huh? Atlas. Atlas. Do you know your name? Atlas. <laughs> this is too much cuteness to handle. Yes. I already called him Percy. <laughs> Puppy, puppy. All right, he just laid down. We've been playing for about, gosh, what, 30 minutes? He would not sit still. I think he's finally all tuckered out. <laughs> so everyone, this is Atlas. This is Percy's half brother. So say hi, bud. Oh, he's all tuckered out now. Thank goodness. Oh, he's just take, he's just full out taking a nap. His eyes are closed. All right. All right, we got him home. Percy's put up because I don't want to overwhelm him. I want him to get used to his surroundings first. Um, but he's home and he likes feet. Yeah. So in the next video, we will be uh, introducing him to Percy. All right, so just as any good breeder should, she got us a little care package. So she has all of his shot and vaccination updates uh, right here. And then she got us a little toy to give to him, but he threw up on it. So we'll have to clean that. But she did give us a brief toy along with him and she gave us a trial packet of the food that she's currently feeding him so we can transition him. And she got a blanket that the mom was using. So it smells just like his mom. Oh yeah, you hear things rattling. <laughs> you hear things rattling? Uh, so that is the care packet that she gave us, which is great. Um, and I think that's it. Hey bud. Atlas. At 
Atlas, by the way, his name is Atlas, just in case you don't know. And he's gone. See you later, buddy.